I have an idea. Why doesn't everybody get in their cars that backfire and just go along the highway and let them all backfire and don't think there's a shootout? That way they can hold up the highway and take up your time needlessly just so they can search to find out if there's any gunfire because they're too stupid to know the difference between a backfire and a gunfire shot. All right? Another thing. You know, if you uh, if you all can uh, get some, um, what do you call those, Mentos, sneak them through the airport, put them in a bottle of soda, or get some dry ice and let it explode in the bathroom. You know, just to show how stupid the TSA is and how stupid they're being with all this ridiculousness, ridiculousness of what they're doing, go ahead and set one of those off in the restroom or somewhere in the airport and let it hold it up for three hours and see a waste of money and resources and effort for a terrorist that really does not exist. The only terrorist that we have to worry about is the evil criminals that are in this government and the fractions that are in it. Not all of the government's evil, but the fractions that are in it are the ones we got to worry about. That's the terrorist among us, not the American people. They're training to take away our guns. They're training to take away everything, your livelihood. They're training to take away your life if necess- if need be. Do you understand that, folks? You know... This is crazy stuff, you know, so, you know, if you, I salute you, if you go out there on the highway and just let your, if you have a car that backfires or a truck, you know, just everybody go down the highway and just cause a lot of backfire and don't think there's a gunfight going on and there won't be no gunfight going on and they'll hold up the highway for hours just to find out what's going on, you know, so, uh, you know, or take some firecrackers and let them off along the highway, you know, this to show how ridiculous this country has gotten. With all this craziness going on, you know, just, you know, just to do it, just to do it, just to show that, you know, this is ridiculous and that we need to put a stop to it. You know, that's what I challenge you all to do as American warriors and patriots, you know, just create all kinds of havoc and, you know, just show how stupid this is, this our country is becoming. Oh, big brother's going to take care of us. Yeah, they're going to imprison you. They condition you for imprisonment. That's why they're groping your genitalia and wanting to throw you up against cars and do the and do a proctology exam on your, your your daughter and your wife without changing the glove and the other woman that they just did before they did them. And then there might be all kinds of diseases. And what happens if they got an STD? You know, like AIDS or something. They put that glove up in your daughter or your wife, and then they're going to get. It. You know, so, you know, this welcome to the New World Order. Yeah, welcome to the New World Order. They need to get back on the ships and get out of here. And they need to, you know, they're taking this country over. We got to stop this, folks. So, I mean, everybody, that's what I want you to do. Project Backfire this weekend on I-95. You know, do it around 5 o'clock at I-95 in the afternoon, you know, on Saturday. Everybody get in their cars and backfire or throw some firecrackers out the window. You know, make it sound like there's a war going on on the highway. That way to hold it up for a couple hours and you can laugh about it. But, you know, they won't know you did it because they won't have no evidence that you did it. Or at least have the sounds of firecrackers to make it real loud so they think there's something, some shooting going on. And they'll hold up the highway to show how full and how, how foolish they are. You know, I, I challenge you to do that, you know, because they can't prove it you and they won't have no idea, you know. So, you know, it's just how stupid they're getting, you know. We gotta stop this foolishness. You know it's crazy. Anyway, this is Michael DeSilva's a segment, a special segment. See ya.